everybody, what's up? It's JoePico14 here, and welcome back to episode number 8 of Joe Plays Minecraft. In today's episode, we are going to be working on a brand new kind of base, and we're going to be restructuring how the world is at the moment, and we're going to be trying to just advance and get as many things done as possible that we can. So, if you do enjoy this episode, remember to like, comment, subscribe, I'll talk about that later. Let's just get into the episode without further ado. So, I've been kind of having a little bit of an epiphany lately when it comes to uh, survival minecraft real quick i'm just going to adjust a few of my settings here um now let's keep vsync off to keep the higher frame rate going um so i've been having an epiphany with my survival minecraft uh experience recently and i'm going to get into that real quick i'm just going to do a quick resource check i would like to see just real quick what i've got available and if i need to get anything so we got a lot of dirt not too much cobblestone decent bit of food a uh, decent bit of wood Quite a bit of materials or minerals. Wow, actually, I, didn't, I kind of forgot how far along I was in terms of materials in this. Well, that's good then. That means we can actually start getting to the good part of survival, which is the building aspect. So, um, anyway, as I was saying, I've had a bit of an epiphany lately about survival Minecraft, and basically, how did it all start? Well, I was just playing. I was just playing. Um, actually, I was just sitting here one day on the computer, and I was just. I kept thinking. I'm like. You know, I've I've been playing Minecraft for five years. Just a few days ago, to, what is today? January 23rd? Two days ago, January 21st, 2018, marks the five-year anniversary of when I originally bought my Joe Pico 14 account on Minecraft Java Edition. And I thought to myself, you know, I've had a lot of survival worlds with myself and with my friend and whatnot, and I don't feel like in any of those worlds I've really achieved a lot. Like... I've found diamonds, I've went to the nether, I've made enchantment tables, I've I've had some okay builds, but I've never really made a world that was just like, wow, there's so much here, you know, I've really mastered the game, you know. Heck, even on like ser servers like Treasure Island, I never was able to attain something like this. And it really got me thinking the other day, I'm like, you know what? Uh, that's enough of this. You know what? Let's let's just make a brand new world on the Java Edition Classic Experience, and let's just let's just go. Let's just do it. And basically, that's what I've actually been doing a lot for the uh, past couple weeks, um, intermingled with my final schedule, which um, I've had to deal with as well. But I've just been having, I've been just going at it. I've just been trying to trying to just do everything i started out i picked out a i picked out a good seed i figured you know if i'm going to make this a long-standing thing i better find a nice seed to work with and i managed to find one that had a lot of nice biomes in it around the spawn um i didn't look up any structures though i kind of wanted to keep that a mystery at least for the time being um so i managed to spawn in and i kind of walked around for a while i tried to find a really nice area to set up a base and i managed to find this really interesting hill and I just set up my house in there. I didn't think it was going to be a permanent civ um, place to settle down, but I ended up actually, at least as of right now, that is my primary base still. And it's it's starting to grow with the with the stuff that's there. I mean, it's nothing super complex, but my starter house still exists. I've made modifications to the interior and parts of the exterior. I've added more floors or a, a another floor. There's only two. Uh, I've, I've started creating some plant farms. I've I've even made, and this is going to sound shocking, but I even made animal farms for cows, sheep, pigs, and chickens. And I know this, this I know it sounds like, oh, Joe, that's such a normal thing to do in Minecraft. Why is, why are you, why is you doing it so special? It's like, and the funny thing, the really funny thing is that I haven't made animal farms in Minecraft in probably years. I'm not even joking. I, I have not felt the need to make an animal farm in any survival world I've played in on any edition for years. And I just, and that really just kind of underscores my whole, I guess, disappointment in myself, to say the least. That just no worlds have really gotten to be something I'm really proud of. And I just kind of got fed up with it, but this world has really changed my outlook. And, like I said, it's not too far, you know, I mean, I found diamonds, and I have a nether portal, I am starting to get a basic little base going with some actually useful stuff, but I'm just, I just feel reinvigorated with the game again. 
and it makes and I haven't had a love for Minecraft survival like this in a long time and I'm actually really proud of what I've been able to accomplish in these few days I know it doesn't sound like much but it's more than anything it is almost a symbolic resurrection of my love of the game and I'm really honestly proud of it and I would like to show off the world in fact um actually I won't pop over to it right now because I don't know where I'm in the world and I don't I don't want to get into trouble but I've, I've just I've just felt this resurgence with the game that I haven't had in a long long time and it came from doing things just differently than I was in this world well, that's why I haven't been in this world for a while because I just I felt lost I wasn't sure about how to do things how to make this fun and make it feel genuine however I've I've done this world I've been playing on this just world just for casual you know nothing for the channel other than just showing it off every so often and I even started actually a bedrock edition world you know the the combined editions of the game I figured I had a realm on there which was kind of a survival world but it was going the wrong direction and I, there were issues with it so I was like you know what why am I, why do why do I settle for these crappy worlds why don't I just make a brand new one and make it my own and that was the same mentality that I had there and I also have a pretty a less progress base going on there so what does that have to do with Joe Plays Minecraft? Well, it's basically that I want to take Joe Plays Minecraft somewhere different. Like it's still a survival series, but I really, really want to start putting in more effort. I'm going to start playing on here off camera. I'm going to start coming episodes with plans for what I want to do. And I want to start really planning out where we do things, where we go, where we set up bases. And just make this something that we're all, we're, all, we're actually proud of. And that would be the ultimate goal here. So. Um, that's basically kind of the summary of here, what I had to say. Um, so without further ado, what are we going to be doing next in this world? I actually, the first thing that I would like to do is I would like to grab the seed of this world, if I can. And we are going to pop this into a program, which we can use to check out all the different biomes. And we are going to look for somewhere that we would like to move to because I am kind of unsatisfied with where I'm at right now. I feel like it's a, it's a very boring place. Yes, there's a village nearby, but it's not exactly ideal. So we're gonna take this seed, we're gonna pop it into the seed displayer, and I'll get back to you in just a moment. Alrighty guys, so we are here now in, a, in the seed viewing program, and it's a program you've probably heard of or seen before. It's been around for a while as far as I'm aware. I think I've used it in the past, not on the channel, but just in general. And it's called Amidst, and I think it was featured on an Ant Venom video recently, if you do watch him, or at one point. Basically what it does is you can plug in your seed or you can take your level save file and you can open up another program and it will show you exactly where all the biomes and the structures are. And it's just very useful if you're trying to pick out a nice seed, if you're trying to hunt around for biomes in your world, maybe to get the advancement uh, for all the biomes. If you're just looking to explore and you're like, oh, you know, I haven't been this way yet. You know, maybe I'll, you know, it's just some ideas for that. But in this case, I'm going to be using it to try and find a new place to basically migrate myself. So as you can see here, or maybe you can't, I'm not sure. Here I am here, I'm basically on the zero X axis and just a little bit to the right of the Y axis, or I guess the Z axis rather, the Y axis would be vertical. Um, so if we turn on this little pencil icon here, we can highlight certain biomes and we, if we just actually exit out of this again, you can see up in the top right of the corner of the screen, it'll, um, depending on where my cursor is, it will, um, it will highlight where I am. I'm not sure if my cursor is showing. Um, let me just change it. I'm not sure if that's going to pick that up or not. Um, but as you can see here, we are in a plains biome. We got the river over here, and there's a bunch of forest in this area, forest hills. That sounds about right with where we're located. Um, another thing we can turn on here is we'll turn on the village icon and as you can see there's a village right here at 8160 or approximately in this area and that's the one that's right next to our house which makes sense. There's apparently also one uh, about 100, 200 blocks, 300 blocks to the west. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to turn the structures off because that's not what I'm interested in plus I want to keep that kind of a secret as to something I I find. Of course, the seed is available there in the top left, so feel free to, um, if you'd like, to view this on your own. Um, this program is free to use. So 
if we just zoom out here, we can kind of start to get a little bit of the lay of the land. And you have to remember that one of these chunks right now, or one of these cubes, is 512 blocks, which is quite a big amount of space. And that's not, that's not exactly an easy walk. Now, if we want to look for certain biomes, such as, say, a desert, we're going to want to highlight all the desert biomes. Not just desert, but I'm also looking for some of the other ones, like Desert Hills, Desert Hills M, the variants, basically. So now if we zoom out here, and I actually haven't looked at this before, but this does reveal some striking information. We don't have a desert for about 3,000 blocks to either the east, the north, or the west. That's kind of a problem, honestly. Um, kind of just looking at this, this map a little bit just on its own here, kind of reveals that this world lacks um, biome diversity. I mean, in this in this region here, in the beginning here, we just have a lot of the basic biomes. We have the forest, we have forest hills, we have plains biomes, we have a little bit of taiga in the vicinity, but not too much. Um, we got some rivers, we got some extreme hills. It's just the very basic biomes, but it's it's kind of unfortunate that that's all we've got around here because it's not super interesting. Um, not to say that there aren't good areas, but I don't know. It's just kind of meh. Um, but obviously you can see, you can't ignore this over here, we do have a large section of ice planes, as well as some ice plane spikes actually. I did just notice that that's ice plane spikes um, to the right here, about 500 blocks to the east, which is kind of interesting actually. Um, that can kind of make for some interesting terrain, although that's not what we're looking for to live in particularly, I wouldn't say. Um, what's also more interesting is when you start looking further out here for some of the other colors. Um, one color you might notice over here is this pink and this purple. And that is actually a mushroom island. That's kind of an interesting color choice, but you know, they only have so many to choose from, so that makes sense. Um, obviously again, that's not something we would live in, but that's something we could certainly explore at some point. You know, I, I actually, I haven't come across too many mushroom islands on PC Minecraft. I know they're really common on the console edition, the 4J Studios console edition that is. But I haven't come across too many on the PC Java edition. Um, and then also over here, there's a little bit of Mesa. Um, that's like the red sand biome, in case you're unfamiliar with that. Um, one of the other ones, I guess, that we haven't seen, one of the rare ones, is the jungle. And we're going to actually see if we can locate some of these real quick. Let's get rid of the uh, desert stuff. So, jungles are pretty rare biomes in this day and age. But you can still find them. And when you do find them, they do tend to be pretty big. So like up here, about, you know, <laughs> like 4,000 blocks from spawn almost, diagonally, we do have this pretty massive jungle biome. This is kind of shocking that this, the biomes are so spread apart. I'm not on a large biomes world. Um, but there's not too many jungles around here. Again, jungles are not necessarily an area to live. However, I mean, I think as I guess the summary here is that basically... I think this world, the seed that we've picked, is not exactly the best. At least not around spawn, it's not super good. I bet if we moved to somewhere around here, where this mesa and desert biomes are, you know, we've got a lot of desert, we've got some birch forest, we have a little bit more diversity. There's even some taiga ice plains pretty close by. Um, I bet we could kind of do more with it. However, that's not to say we can't find some cool areas where we are. Um, it's all more just about the terrain, you know, finding some cool height stuff. Um, it, it's kind of a, a nitpicky thing from my perspective. There's no, like, exact way to find it. But um, it is kind of interesting just looking around. I haven't, like I said, I haven't looked at this before for this seed. So, unfortunately, it's kind of disappointing, actually, the fact that we don't have a lot of interesting stuff around here. But, like I was saying, we don't need super interesting terrain to have a good time in this world. I'm just looking for future plans as to where I might move. And it might end up being somewhere up here because, you know, we've got all the plains biomes and there's even some roof forests, actually, I didn't, I didn't catch. Um, you know, maybe just somewhere up here by the jungle, a little bit of desert to over here, some savanna even. Um, so in the long run, I think it's just be a, maybe a goal to relocate or find somewhere that has a little bit more biome diversity. But we're going to use another for that if we ever do that. So I think we've just kind of explored a little bit. The last thing I will do before I uh, disconnect here is I'm just going to... Actually, I'll just zoom out a little bit and I'll just turn on some of the um, 
some of the structures just in case. Well, that's the spawn. That's not helpful. Um, we'll just see if there are any temples around the area. There is an igloo, it appears, pretty close by, about 512, 512. Um, there's another igloo over there. I don't see much else. That doesn't surprise me because we're not in those kinds of biomes. Um, that looks like witches' huts. Um, what else can we check out? Wonder if there are any ocean monuments. There is one over there. That's all I see though for the nearby vicinity. All right. Yeah, I don't need to go crazy here with looking at stuff. I just thought I would check it out. Um, I think that's about all we got here for our mitts. So let's head back into the regular game now. All right, guys. So we're heading back into the uh, the actual world right now. So. I think basically just kind of the wrap up the conclusion from looking at that amidst a uh, view is that if we want an interesting area we're gonna have to search in the vicinity of these biomes even though these biomes are not the most exciting now that's that's definitely possible to do like I said I did manage to actually find an area uh, two areas rather in that survival world which were in uh, just regular forests so it's really more just about finding this cool cool area where the height maybe creates a little hill that's kind of nice, you know. I just don't, basically, I guess to sum up my little complaints about that, is I don't particularly want to live in just this random plains biome. It's not very exciting, it's not very interesting, it's frankly quite bland. Um, so even just living next to or on this hill right here actually might be a lot better. Like, this is the kind of thing that I live in. Ooh, I don't remember if I have pumpkins in this world or not. Um, probably do. Or, heck, even living, like, right alongside a river can sometimes be really neat. Which I suppose I am over there. Um, I might just relocate a little bit over here just to kind of give myself a fresh, fresh base. I mean, I do like this kind of little area over here. Even this with the little ponds is kind of, kind of cool. So... I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to relocate. And we're only going to relocate, I would say, right here for now. That's pretty close. It's not a huge difference. Um, we got some water over here and other stuff. That's kind of cool. So what I think we're going to do is we're just going to grab some materials and we're just going to create a new house. And we're going to try something different from what this world already has. But it's going to be similar to what I have in my other worlds. I'm sorry if this video is ending up being a little bit philosophical uh, you know me in my in my discussions and all that and my non-stop talking I I sorely apologize that none of my let's play episodes are just oh let's go do something but I kind of have to do this this whole thing just to get things the ball rolling to get the change made and then we can start so I won't tear this down because that's a waste of time and materials and all that but I will uh, get a new house going. So we'll go sleep real quick. And we'll move forward with our plans. Alright. So it is the morning. And we've already got about a stack of wood. We've got plenty of food. We've got some other materials that we can work with. We'll just grab a few more things of dirt, although I don't want to do too much terraforming at the moment. That's unnecessary. And I did notice that we have some obsidian. So we can make another portal. So we do have the ability to do that, which is good. Um, we can bring in these doors. I'll probably use those. Um... Yeah, I think we'll just start heading over there. Oh wait, no, what I was looking for was glass. I wanted to see if I had any glass left over. I absolutely do. Okay. We don't need this much, but I'll bring it anyways. I'll also see if I've got any chests left over. Oh, I've got plenty of chests. I remember there's that ugly thing in the middle of the room. That's probably what that's from. Crafting table, workbench. Do we have any cobblestone? Take that. And why don't we just head on over there? We'll bring the rest of our stuff after construction is completed, but I do want to just get started on this before the episode ends. I apologize if this episode ends up being longer. I'll try and trim it in editing so it's not so bad. I do like to keep these episodes around 20-25 minutes, no longer, because it's just hard to keep your attention. I, even I, I can't even watch a Let's Play episode from somebody else that's 30 minutes or more, unless I really, really want to. 
So I'm thinking just a, it's going to be basically a pretty small, modest little cottage. I'm trying to decide if I should put it at the top of the hill or not. And I'm almost leaning towards not in this case, actually. I think we'll just throw it down here. I think... Uh, where would be a good spot? I wonder if I should put it on the forest side or the plain side. It's the little things that matter. <laughs> I almost think we'll put it over here. I think I think we'll put it right about here. I think this looks like a sweet spot right here. We'll just try to try to make something, and uh, we'll see how this goes. So I'll just I did say I wasn't gonna terraform, but I do have to cut this back and of course chop away some grass. Some grass. Oh my gosh, that was a horrible voice crack. So, let's begin. Let's get ourselves some more oak planks. Let's just plop that down. Actually, let me grab some more dirt and work with this a little bit more just to give us some more space to work with. I'll fill this in, but I'll do it off camera. I'll just get it, give us a little bit of extra space. And the thing about these small houses that I've been making is that they're very cozy. If you'll notice, the house in this video, or in this world, rather, is actually very big for a starter house and I'm not particularly sure why I did that in the first place I'm sure that I did that like a year ago so it doesn't surprise me but in hindsight it doesn't really make sense so that's why I'd rather just start with something more appropriately sized and then we can expand from there so let's cut this back a little bit more and then we can start building and we'll just get as far as we can with the time that we have, and then whatever I don't get finished, we can finish in the next episode. So we'll start just over here. We'll just create this very simple little outline. Um, I'm trying to think about the dimensions as they were in my other worlds, because those were very good dimensions. They were efficient, in my opinion. There is one thing, though, I'm going to change, and that's I'm going to make it an Actually, we'll, we'll, we'll keep it. We'll keep it the same dimensions I've been doing in my other world. So that'll give us three. That'll allow us to throw up some windows, and then we can hook around a door, just like so. We'll have three more slots there. I think that's... Actually, I think I'm cutting some... Am I making this too small? I almost think I made it too small. No, actually, I don't think I did. It seems very small, but that's the goal. Is it's supposed to be something that's extremely on the mos modest, excuse me, modest side. That's fairly simple, not overkill, but it has some nice little details that make it a nice place to live. And that's something that I lacked in the last building. I've I've been using that weird log technique of like putting the cross beams and having them extend over the edge. It worked for a while, but I'm I kind of grown I've grown away from that. I don't really like it anymore. So I much prefer just going with the simple wood planks, at least for these small houses. I do plan to create bigger structures later in the world, so don't get me wrong, that will happen. So we've got this. This is going to be the basic outline and the floor of the house. We're going to go with just a simple cobblestone actually. Although I do have some stone brick back in the house. Or I do have some smooth stone, rather. So I'm going to go grab that real fast, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we are back here, over by the house now. And one thing I actually forgot to mention was that another great benefit to staying in this area, and this is even something I didn't have the luxury of in my other world, is the fact that there are a lot of animals in the area. There are several different kinds of oh, I don't have any oh, I gotta go with the stone shovel don't I there are many many animals in the area there are sheeps there are pigs there are chickens I believe I saw a couple cows actually no this is the one where I struggled to find cows actually so that one might be a bit of a challenge unfortunately too considering that's actually one of the more important ones but we are meeting uh, we do have several of the other animals, and that's very important to making this world more sustainable in the early run. And it was a struggle in my personal world. I'll just call that—I'll just call that my survival world, by the way. Just going forward, um, 
it was a struggle because I had to move the animals quite far and I didn't have any let let leads so I had to rely on just having them follow the food and that is a huge struggle it is a massive pain it really really is a massive pain to do that all right let me just have a look here we probably should put down as many chests as we can I would say that well, that's kind of necessary in the early run here we'll make ourselves a couple more furnaces and those will outline the corners and once again just to reiterate this is a very very similar setup to what I've been doing in my other worlds I'll throw up a bunch of glass on the side on the sides sides <laughs> side sides we'll put a pillar down the middle and what this will allow is it'll allow for us to place a ladder in the future to create a second floor or a basement or a mine underground and before you guys question me that I'm trying to make this exactly like my personal world and it's just kind of boring like that I'm not planning on doing that other than this house and some of the techniques that I use I want to create separate builds I, I'm in separate biomes for most of these I'm I have separate mindsets and everything I'm not keeping it exactly the same so that is definitely not one of my concerns with this series uh, I guess we'll go with this it's fine that is not one of my concerns actually no we won't I don't like this so no don't worry too much about that but I'm just kind of taking almost inspiration I would say from those builds to try and get myself some motivation I mean I can't move forward without having some kind of some kind of base to work off of what should we do for the ceiling why don't we can we grab some birch wood I actually want to grab some birch wood and do a little birch ceiling that might that might be kind of good just to add some contrast although it's kind of funny I have so much birch wood back at the house and I unfortunately neglected to bring that too so that's kind of unfortunate so we are just about rounding up here to the end of the episode. Uh, I do appreciate you guys sticking around here today. <laughs> it's been an... Oh, I thought there was a rabbit for some reason. That was weird. Uh, I do appreciate you guys sticking around. The series is, I feel like, one of the toughest ones for me to record because I actually... It's very hard sometimes to come up with what I'm going to do in an episode. Mini games, it's, you know, just go on the server and start recording. Just kind of pick what you want to go for and go but this is more is a little bit more thought involving i guess even if even if it's not that much thought involving i do have to have some kind of plan i can't just derp around in the world like i've been up to but i feel like oh no oh well then hmm huh that's pretty good that's pretty good Nice. Nice. Lovely. <laughs> Just as I was about to end. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I was not expecting that. Oh, my gosh. That was really idiotic of me. Oopsie daisies. I better bring some iron while I'm at it. Oh, man. That was bad. That was not good. Do I have any wood? I do. Oh, my gosh. Oopsie daisies. That didn't work out. What was I talking about? I was talking about plans, having plans for episodes. Um, that's important. That's very important. And hopefully going forward, I'm going to have stuff to do. I'm going to do stuff off camera. I'm going to mine. I'm going to get materials and everything else off camera so that you guys don't have to sit through the boring parts. And in addition to that, I will try my very hardest to stop giving lectures in these videos because I don't like doing that it's boring it's not what you come here for it's not entertaining but at least today I was I kinda had a specific goal with what I was trying to say and it was more a little philosophical kind of interesting oh boy how much glass did we lose uh, <laughs> oh man oh what a bummer oh man I lost 20 levels of XP there too uh, dearie me, my inventory is full already. I had armor on, too. Wow. Really? You die from that? He, he was right next to me, then. Wasn't he? Oh, dear. My inventory is completely jammed up. Oh, boy. Get some stuff down in chest. 
That really sucks. And t I was about to sleep here, too. I was going to set my spawn point and everything. Wow. <laughs> Creeper just had to go and ruin it, didn't he? Yep. Typical Minecraft. Just as you're about to finish something, just spoils it for you. All right. Let's try and get this finished up then again, shall we? Just get all these blocks. I'll fix up my inventory momentarily. Oh, uh, dear. Do I have a stone brick? I do. Where are my doors? <laughs> Let's put the doors down like I should have done originally, shouldn't I? That would have stopped this from ever happening. Uh, my workbench exploded. That sucks. <laughs> Let's make a new one of those. Um, I got tools everywhere. Need some torches, that's for sure. Torch, torch. Like so. And I think we've got a chest in here. We got a couple, although most of them did explode. Sad face. <laughs> Even my chest exploded. Oh, man. One, two, three, four. Get those down. Get a furnace down. Okay. Oh, wait. I wasn't done with the glass. My bad. <laughs> I actually... I think... I, did I lose some of my glass? Did I have more than this? I almost think I did. I should probably check on that. Hello. I swear I had more glass. Huh. Well, I don't know. Uh. <laughs> wow. Very disappointing episode. Very disappointing indeed. Anyways, I think we can... The last thing is we will just make ourselves a couple extra stone bricks and... We'll just make some slabs. We're gonna make chiseled. We're gonna make two of those chiseled stone bricks. We're gonna throw that there and there just for a little extra piece of artwork. Make ourselves a couple pressure plates to, for ease of access. I've got this thing down by now. <laughs> and there you have it. There is our new home. I've also noticed I think I lost my stake. Um, that's kind of odd as well. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. Is my glass in here? Okay. Alright, I think we're all good. I don't think we lost too much of anything. Anyways, guys, what an episode. Very strange one indeed. I do thank you for sticking around. And if you do support me, then of course be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'm not doing that to pest you, I'm just reminding you because even myself when I'm watching the videos, sometimes I do forget to actually go back and like it if I enjoyed it. But I just figured I would remind everybody. Anyways, next episode, I will have a definite plan. I will probably try and post about it, even online, just to give you a little heads up. That'll show you that I am actually trying to plan in ahead. Um, I'll get some of my stuff moved over here. This is going to be our primary base going forward. I just realized I also forgot to put down a bed, which I will throw down in the place of one of these chests, probably this one, by the workbench. Just throw that like that. And that'll be the new spawn point. So anyways, guys, I will catch you in a future video. And uh, thanks for sticking with me. This is JokerPoo14 signing out. And remember everybody, play Minecraft and eat bacon. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.